We have our sales results from 2012 to 2014 showing for each month. And in our report filters, we have our products and salesperson. And all we can do is show each salesperson's values into separate tabs. Now to do this, you go onto the options tab and then under options drop down box, choose show report filter pages. In here, you get a dialog box to choose which of the two report filters you want to show. Let's choose the salesperson and press OK. And then when we press that, you'll see at the bottom of the tab here that we get the different salespeople's names in there. See that? We get Homer Simpson, Ian Wright, John McRivers, and Michael Jackson. They show their values for each of the years. We're in Michael Jackson here. Hold down the shift key and go all the way to Homer Simpson. And we grouped our sheets there. We know that because on the top of the page, it shows the group in there. What we can do now, while they're grouped, we can actually make a change into one and then every one of them will get amended as well. So you can see there, we'll go to there. So we can format each one of them. Okay, now they're still grouped. We can go to the file and print. And in here, because they're grouped, we have the four different salespeople in there and we can print to PDF. So let's choose your PDF and then press print. We can call it individual sales person reports. Press save and it brings it up in here. We'll go to the second page third page and fourth page. Okay, let's get out of here. And then make sure when you're back in your pivot table, you right click and ungroup the sheets. So that's a quick way where you can see a report filters items on separate sheets with their filtered results.